Welcome everybody who's here. So excited about today's word. It's going to keep your hope alive. It's going to excite you. It's going to refresh you. Lord, thank you so much for this cold morning. Thank you that as your word is being taught, it is going to uh, make people, people's hope alive and, and, and their confidence in you to just be stirred up in this season. Um, Thank you so much for your word, for your interest of your word brings light and it gives understanding to the simple. It's going to just do bulb, light bulb moments for all of us and we will be blessed and we will run with it and we will enjoy. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. You're welcome, Alan. The joggers, people are jogging in rain. Eh, Jesus, I need that anointing. So let's start. <coughs> Today I'm going to talk about, us, talk about, share about Psalm 46. Many of us know it, I think. It says, um, so when I bend, I'm just getting my, my tools. There's a chair right next to me because I'm standing. Um, Psalm 46. Many of us may have heard it. I'm going to just read it in the New King James Version. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar to be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling. I'll stop on verse 3. So it says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Hmm? Now, um, so for me, that, that, I, um, that used to... That, has been for a long time one of those verses when trouble comes you know those you, you know what you what you call standby verses do you understand eh? um i mean you're going through a tough thing you pull out psalm 23 um the lord is my shepherd even though i go through a valley of the shadow of destiny i'll fear no evil boom so you know you know stand by scripture like ones which are like that the thing comes the thing comes and another one maybe is this thing of i look up to the hills and where my where does my help come from that's psalm 121 my help comes from the lord who made heaven and earth so just like those psalms this one was one of those for me in times of uh, jesus i need to remember that you're my refuge and my strength so so this time round um i went back to it and i was just looking at it uh, regarding this season that way and i said okay jesus just share with me a bit deeper than just copying it and pasting it and putting it on my wall i want to just speak to me through this psalm and i want to share some of the things that i found psalm 46 i'm going to read it also in the the passion translation the passion translation Pastor, I have asked that I be sharing the, the, the versions I use. Those are the two I'm going to use. New King James and the Passion Translation only. So, if you don't find it in one, it's in the other. Um, so, it says in the Passion Translation that, God, you're such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. Are you listening? You're a proven help in time of trouble. More than enough and always available whenever I need you. Now, I'm going to read it again. Hmm? And I want you to just mark some of the, the, the words, the, the, the key words in that, in that part. It says, God, you're such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. You're a proven help in time of trouble. More than enough and always available whenever we need you. Some of the words that stand out there. Um, just, 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 in fact, let me just allow you to first, uh, just share what, which ones stand up for you. I'm going to read it again. And you just hear, just hear the words that, hmm? God, you're such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. Just share the words that are standing out for you. You're a proven help in time of trouble. More than enough and always available whenever we need you. I'll read it one more time. As I read, just share the words that are standing out for you. Even if you're not looking, just share the words when I'm reading. What words are standing out? God, you're such a safe and powerful place to find refuge. You're a proven help in time of trouble. More than enough and always available whenever we need you. What words stand out for you? Let me just allow, just one or two people, just share. What words have stood out for you? Safe and powerful place. Thank you very much. 
What else has stood out for you? You are proven help in time of trouble. More than enough. More than enough and always available whenever we need you. A proven help. A proven help in time of trouble. A proven help. Thank you so much. Now I'm going to continue and share some of the findings that I found. The first one I want to talk about is this thing of refuge. Um, we've had this thing always available, yes. Now, the word refuge, the word refuge. Um, I thought about, okay, there are so many Psalms that talk about my refuge and strength. In fact, Psalm 91 verse 2 says, I will serve the Lord. He is my refuge, I think, and my fortress, my God in whom I will trust. Refuge, 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 refuge. What's the deal with this refuge thing? So I realized that I had never really, really thought about the word refuge. And when I did, I realized that if you look in the dictionary, you'll find that it's a place providing safety or shelter. A refuge is a place that provides safety or shelter. So, right now, in fact, this is a perfect day to help you understand the meaning of a refuge. A refuge is a place that says that providing safety or shelter. Now, here's the thing I realized. The thing about a shelter, that it's sort of permanent, right? That right now you're in your home, whether it's mud or water or brick or mortar. The idea that it's a shelter is that it, it is holding. It's, it's holding, right? So, first of all, God is safe. He is powerful and he is a refuge, right? And I have to, this is now the thing that banged me very much. You know, we've been talking about how he's a refuge and strength and all that. And I realized that, look here, Solomon, for the shelter to work, you have to enter. Hello? Right now you're in your home, but you know it's raining outside. Now, you can have your big fat home or your small, small home if, it's, if you need shelter. And he has said, I am a refuge, I am a shelter. For you to, uh, to, to, to experience the blessing of the shelter, for the shelter to make sense, you must enter the shelter. You must enter the shelter. You must enter, you must be inside the shelter. And that's one of the things that stood out for me in this season, that I am a refuge. I've told you that I am a refuge. Now the thing is, come enter inside because the, the, the refuge will only be helpful for you when you enter inside it says in psalm 91 verse 2, i said it earlier that i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in whom i will trust psalm 91 verse 2 he has said again that this refuge is safe and powerful so i want to um share with you that this refuge is not made of some material that is blown away by the wind. He says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. So friends, the God that we are trusting in this season, it doesn't matter the storm. It doesn't matter what happens as long as I am inside. My business in this season, your business in this season is to enter inside the refuge. Because the thing is, it won't help you to stand outside your house when it's raining. Do you understand? However big your home is, if you're not inside the refuge, the shelter, you're not going to find what? It's not going to help you. Not, you're not going to find the, the, the use that it's supposed to help you. So, another thing that stood out for me, somebody shared it here. A very present help in time of trouble. And the other version says, a proven help. A proven help, proven help, proven help in time of trouble. And I looked up the word proven. Proven is to establish the truth or genuineness of as by evidence or argument. To establish the truth or genuineness of something. If I say, prove to me, prove to me that, that what, that what, that what, that you're a girl. Do you understand? Eh? You're going to. By evidence, I have to see that you, are, you understand. There has to be evidence. That's a, that's a meaning of proof. And so the, what, the Bible is saying that God, this God that we are believing, this, this safe and powerful refuge is a proven help in time of trouble. In our case, we are able to prove by evidence. We are not, we are not trying to prove by what? By, by um, argument. The thing is, friends, um, I, want to share, I want to share with you today that the more... <coughs> Let me even first continue before I, before I complete this whole thing. It says, a very present help in time of trouble, therefore we will not fear. Do you understand? The reason I will not fear is because I have proof that I am being helped. Now here's the thing. Our God is proven 
by by evidence by evidence one of the evidences you can start with is the word is, is the bible i mean this is the guy we've just finished the passover look the israelites were standing in the middle in front was the red sea behind were egypt egyptians we have proof we have proof we have proof pastor Lynette, thank you for coming judy thank you for coming i see all of you people passes i see you guys we have proof from the word of god and i'm not sure from our personal lives that this god that we trust has a track record of good he has a track record of 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 helping i was sharing about the israelites so they have red sea here they have the egyptians behind and guess what the red sea broke jenna and that's the first proof and then i realized that because we have proof therefore we will not fear meaning the word therefore let me submit to you friends today the word therefore means in consequence of that as in i have this proof now because i have this proof i will not fear and the word the word of my this morning is like things guys don't try to over manufacture confidence you understand don't try to manufacture confidence there is evidence for you to have the confidence do you understand the idea of this of the word of the word he's saying here is as in see my proof and then then you will have the confidence do you understand as in don't try to manufacture confidence there's so much confidence in the word of god there's so much confidence in the experiences that you've had in your life for we grow more in confidence in this man but i must find proof for me to grow in confidence uh, with this guy i must find proof that he is in by very present help now the question is i want to ask you today what proof do you have because the thing is you have proof the thing is you have proof i'll share one story for me one of the stories that always comes back to mind let me just share a personal story that happened so i think it was in over 20 what over 17 or 18 so we were in that when the oh dr Eunice, you're most welcome thank you buddy everybody for coming guys so now in over 2017 i don't remember so we were there in uh, in the hills of Kavali. Hmm? and we were coming down the hill we're coming down the hill now let me let me explain to you the disaster of this thing that was about to happen I was my my uncle was seated. My, my brother was the one driving. My uncle was in the front seat. It was those those you know those those prados, eh? which have even like back extra seats. My uncle is driving. My brother is driving in the middle. About my mom, my auntie, my auntie at the back. Another auntie, another auntie. Me. Please don't ask us why we did such indiscipline on those thin roads on the hills of Kavale. We also I think you don't think of when you're in the village and you want to bang mob KB together. Which he, you know you don't want to split cars because you want the KB to flow. So we decided to sit in the same car. Now we are there driving, chilling. Now we didn't know that it hadn't rained where we were, but where we were going, it had rained. Now when it rains in the hills of Kabale, you help yourself not to dare pass on the high hills. Like you first figure out where which swamp to use. Like you can't do those roads; they are terrible. But anyway, we didn't know. So as we went, we saw that the car road was get, was wet. Bichy, bichy, bichy. But we kept driving the cab. You know when you're in the car, cab is hot here in the village. Christmas time. Now, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, the car starts skidding. It skids. It skids. Now, I want to explain to you these roads, how you understand them. The roads are like this thin. Do you know, do you know those roads where for two cars to pass, why one car has to like stop go? Now, the thing about these roads in those hills is that immediately you get off the road, you die. Like there's no, you know what I think? As in, you get off, you die. Like the, the, it's so good. It's so bad. As soon as the road ends, the trees, the death, as in death is there. Now we skid. We skid. You guys, even now when I talk about it, ah, what happened is, he skids, goes, 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 goes. The aunties who are dozing wake up, they start screaming, God, we are dying. Then you're the ones who scream, you're telling them, shut up. But there's so much pressure. And all of a sudden, the bumper of the car, gets stuck in a gully a, 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 a thing that had been formed by a gully now the bumper i hope you can understand this thing the bumper was was stuck in the gully hmm? and the the gully was facing that 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 deep fall hmm? and the front tires were in suspension and we were six seven six seven eight people in the car full to capacity you people the nina evidence you cannot explain to me how we made it HHO, even how we are here today you can't i have evidence and that's one of my evidences that this god 
is a very present I'm telling you, no man could have saved us. No amount of driving qualifications. No amount of... Uh, what evidence do you have? What evidence do you have in your life that this God, you were going through a situation and this proven help came through? What evidence do you have? Right now I'm asking you today, what evidence do you have in this season? It's time to go back and say, because you have said that, a very present help in time of trouble, therefore I will not fear. And we've realized that the word therefore means, as a result of my knowing that I have proof, I have evidence that this God came through in a time of trouble. Because of that I will not fear. Friends, don't manufacture confidence, just get proof. The moment you have proof of this very present help in time of trouble, fear is expelled. What evidence do you have? Go backtrack, backtrack. I want you to backtrack. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in time of trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. So the confidence and the, and the, and the expectation in this season, in this uncertain season, in this season, do you understand? The expectation is based on, guys, look here, look here. Therefore, I expect this. I expect, you understand? Mm -hmm. Now I'll share the, the. I'm about to like finish them. Psalm 62, verse 1 and 2. I'm going to read. I'm going to read verse 2 from uh, again the Passion Translation. It says, "God alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me." He says, "God alone. God alone, friends. In this is God alone is our safe place." You guys, I told you that in the beginning, guys, for the refuge to work, as in your shelter is only working because you're inside it. Do you understand? As in the refuge can be there. You can even have a big fat home. I mean, guys, right now, even if you have a big fat home in the farm, what, 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 what? It's not the one you're using. Do you understand? It's not the one you're using. The the one you're using is the one which you're inside of. So is much God can tell you how is a refuge. When I come to me, oh, I spend time. The thing is, if you are if you're on the veranda, depending on the on the on the on the amount of wind, do you understand? There's some kakuba that will bang you when you're at the, at the, at the, at the one that won't bang you when you're at the veranda. But then there's a certain storm that will come when you're at the veranda. Do you understand? You have to enter inside the inside there. Now, he says, God alone is my safe place. His wraparound presence always protects me. For he is my champion defender. There is no risk of failure with God. In Psalm 62 verse 2, there is no risk of failure with God. Why would I let worry paralyze me? Even when troubles multiply around me. So, there is no risk of failure, you guys. And then the thing is, worry paralyzes you. Do you know what worry does? It makes you rotate, 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 rotate. Paralysis means a state of helpless stoppage, inactivity, inability to act. When you're paralyzed, you don't have ability to act. Friends, worry is something that will cause you, will cause you to stop acting. Right now, you may have been paralyzed by the 21 more days. I want to present to you today that stop the paralysis right away. Because there is no risk of failure with your God. There is no risk of failure with your God. There is no risk of failure. More like God is the best investment asset. Do you understand? Eh? I mean, you, you do business. They tell you, Simanya, high risk, low return. Simanya, I mean, high risk, high return. Low risk, low return. Now I want to present to you that God is zero risk, highest return. When I invest in God, in the secret place, zero risk, highest return there is no other investment on earth like that there is no other investment like god in this season in everything you do or you're going to read so many books or you're going to maximize 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 the investment because because the bible says there is no risk of failure as in for god when you invest in him there is no risk of failure you know other investment like oh yes manya what percent loss I want to present to you that there is no risk of failure with God. And so he says, And which of you, by being anxious, can add a single hour of lifespan to your life? Some, uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 27. There is no risk of failure with God. Your highest investment in this season should be in God. Why? There is no risk of failure. 
There is no risk of failure, and I want to present to you guys that I mean, just get if you if you are looking for evidence in your life before you okay, you are like, okay, God, where is the evidence? What, what, what? Just get the Bible, as in, guys, for God's sake, there were lions in Daniel's den, and they didn't eat him. Like, guys, get a bit graphical. Seriously. Okay, if you are still looking for first start in the Bible, just say, okay, me, God, I just want to see evidence. I just want to see. Show me, show me, show me. And I, I explained to you guys last time that God is more than enough. Did I show, remember last time I shared with you the thing of how how those guys in uh, Jehoshaphat's guys were, were they defeated they, the the guys killed themselves and then they and then they had more as in more than enough always available access. Do you understand? First get co evidence in that. Do you understand? Yeah, you know, nah, nah, nah. you guys. So there is no risk of failure with God, as in. A proven help in time of trouble. A proven help in time of trouble. What am I saying today? How many minutes do I have, Banang? Yes, I have five minutes. I'm about to finish. What am I saying today? One, enter the refuge. Don't stay in the compound. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call to me and I will answer you. Call to me and I'll show you good and many things you don't know. Abide in me and I in you, John 15, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine. But like you guys, as in, enter the refuge inside, not on the compound. Like, do you understand? As in, if you were in the compound right now, secondly, invest in God in this season. Why? Zero risk, 100% return. Zero risk, 100% return. So the word, Banange Echigambo word, I'm going to share. Do you understand yesterday? The, yesterday, but one, Pastor Beatrice was talking about how we put the word in. The word is the one that comes out of our mouth, and then we have what we say. Generally, so the word, so the word, invest in this season. Investing in this season means planting acres and acres in the word. Why? Because there's, there's zero, there's whatever, zero risk, high return. Like, also, you'll just be and the return is barely. You guys, anyway, if, next thing, get your evidence third thing i'm saying get your evidence i want to take you back to thanksgiving give thanks basically naturally naturally finding evidence is going to cause you to give thanks i think even that's why he says being cast for nothing but in everything uh, by parents application with thanksgiving let your requests be made to god you understand? i think naturally as you're looking for evidence you end up in thanksgiving so find your evidence don't manufacture confidence it will come by itself those are the three things i'm saying Friends, the more we know, the more fear will be cast out. Don't be paralyzed by worry in this season. Don't. I told you paralysis is the inability to act. Some, some, some of us might have gotten stuck yesterday on the on the what on the TV. What was still passing around? Jokes paralyzed. That hey, twenty one days. What are they going to do? In fact, expel all those jokes that are not helping you. Do you understand? Like expel them. Why? Because they are causing you to be paralyzed. <laughs> Yet there's an investment to make that has a hundred percent return. Like you guys, I need you to live here knowing that you have a refuge, and you need to enter him. And there's evidence. And there's evidence. Ev evidence. So you guys are finished.